the Trolley Open Hunters National is next. Um, we've got a field of seven in this, going over four miles. So I'm surprised one or two people didn't divert their Grand National horses into this if they could. There are quite a few that could have got in this and would probably have had more chance of winning it. Evident pride from Matt Cooper's at the top. Cirque for Martin Lidham. Patricia's Briggs do great. Rock City, Derek Hinton. Paper sweep for Graham Clutterbrook. Oranger Panzer for Kevin Meenahan, who did win the big one yesterday. And the oil magnate for Matt Cooper. So seven in it then. And away we go. And... Matt Cooper double-handed as they get into the first and they're all safely over it. And Cirque is the early leader. Cirque was in his third or fourth season, I think. How many seasons of... However many seasons of SO7 we've had. He's been in all of them. And they passed the winning post then with four more circuits to go. And try not to get dizzy. And let's hope they all get round. Or at least most of them get round anyway. So Cirque's in front, Evident Pride is second. Then Oranger Panzer is third with Patricia's Brig fourth. And Paper Sweet fifth, the oil magnet is next. And then Rock City is just the back marker as they get to the second, which they're all safely over. Evident Pride should be well into the lead as they come down towards the next. Pride and Cirque disputing it. Oh, Patricia's Brig and Oranger Panzer. They get over the next mistake there by Paper Sweep. I've seen that one just shuffle to the back, but an awful long way to go yet. And Evident Pride, the top weight from Cirque in second. And Patricia's Brig. And one, two, three in the race so far. One, two, three in the weights. And Oranger Panzer. Oh, National winning trainer Kevin Renahan. A gap of four lengths then to Rock City, the oil magnate, and Paper Sweep, who's the back marker. So Cirque in front. Evident Pride second. They get to the next, and Cirque went through the top of it, but looks like it's a fairly soft fence, didn't it? Causing too many problems. Cirque in front, Evident Pride second, Chris's Brig third, Orange of Panzer four, and Rock City, and the Oil Magnate Paper Sweep is after that. As they get to the sixth, Ooh, safely over fence number six, and heading towards fence number seven. And first of all, they're going to go past the winning post. They've got to go past another three times yet, so one circuit done. Three more to do. Cirque's in front. Oranger Panzer has now moved through into second. Evident Pride is third. Chris's Brig is fourth. And a three length gap to Rock City and a four or five length gap to the back two paper sweep and the oil magnate. As they get over the next, you can't afford to get too far behind on this track or you might get lapped. Cirque in the lead. Oranger Panzer. And Evident Pride and Patricia's Brig. Over the eighth they go. And all safely over it. Cirque in front by two and a half as I get over this ditch. Nicely. Orange of Panzer second, Patricia's Brig third, then Evident Pride fourth, and then Rock City. Paper Swoop. Good job, this is the last race because my phone won't stop going. And Cirque's in the lead. Orange of Panzer second, Patricia's Brig third, then Evident Pride and Rock City. And the Oil Magnate and Paper Sweep at the back. Over the next they go. Proper Indian file now with a mistake at the back by Paper Sweep. Cirque's in the lead. Never actually thought about that term Indian file. I wonder if you're not supposed to use it anymore. I'm not sure what it refers to. I think it was a red Indian. Always a faller at the back there. Paper Sweep 
I'm pretty sure it was Red Indians in cowboy films they used to you see on the top of the hill, didn't they? They call on one at a time. I think that's where it came from. So you're probably not supposed to say it anymore. I'm not allowed to call them Red Indians either, so twice I've got myself in trouble in the last furlong. Sirk's in the lead. From Oranger Panzer in second. Patricia's Brig is third. Then Rock City fourth. And then the Ore Magnate and the early leader, Evident Pride, is possibly struggling under that big weight. Or oh, maybe just getting bored because you can hear me waffling about things I'm not supposed to be waffling about as they get over the 12th. Sirk in front. Oranger Panzer second. Patricia's Brig third. Ore Magnate fourth. City and Everton Pride. All does not change a great deal. Oh, the leader went right through that first mistake. That Cirque's made off and makes a mistake or two. Went straight through that one. Seemed to have got away with it. Went to steady himself up for this ditch. Got over it okay, but has been out jumped by Oranger Panzer. And Patricia's Brig, but has got back into the lead on the flat. The oil magnet is moving up nicely on the outside, and then a little gap to Rock City and Evident Pride. Wouldn't rule anything out yet, with another circuit still to go after this one's complete. And Cirque's in the lead. He gained his equilibrium and has got back into a two length lead. Need to start putting in some better jumps after a couple of shaky ones. He jumped that one okay. Oranger Panzer is in second. Patricia's Bridge just dropping back a little bit on the outside. Rock City, the one who's moving through now to move into a share of second. There's almost four of them sharing second at this point. With Cirque in the lead and Evident Pride at the back as they take that one. will be the last next time round. This is the final circuit now. It will be in a minute when they pass the winning post. And Cirque will go past that winning post in the lead and will hope to do so next time as well. Rock City's in second. Oh, Magnate is third. Orange Panzer on the inside is fourth. Then Patricia's Brig on the outside is fifth. With Evident Pride the back marker. So circuit is then. Oh, Rock City and Orange Panzer then Patricia's Brig. As they get over the next and Cirque was a little bit cautious over that one. Gave it plenty of air. Still two lengths up on Rock City in second. Patricia's Brig now moving forward again in third. Evident Pride is fourth. Orange Panzer actually is fourth, and Evident Pride is fifth as they get over the next. And they're beginning to bunch up again now. Cirque's just kicking up a little bit. There's only four furlongs to go. And three more. Fences to take, that's the final ditch, and Cirque got over it, clearing the lead, and it's just opened up again now by three or four lengths. Rock City is starting to motor, though, in second. Patricia's Brig looking a bit one-paced in third. The Oil Magnate, Evident Pride, and Oranger Panzer trying to run on, but Cirque has got the lead. It looks like Rock City is going best of all at this point, though. There's still two more fences to take, and two and a half furlongs to go, and Cirque leads, but Rock City is getting ominously close. Back in third is Patricia's Brig, then the Oil Magnate as they come down to these final two fences, and oh, Rock City went through it, but he's taken the lead anyway. Rock City's gone on, Cirque in second, doesn't look like he's got that much more to give. They race down to the last, and I think if Rock City pops over this last OK, he'll probably win it. Patricia's Brig is running on in third and might get second, as Cirque has definitely hit the wall now. Over the final fence they go, and it's Rock City going to be an easy win for Derek Hinton this time. Patricia's Brig has moved into second past the we're in Cirque, back in third, and up towards the line. We will end with a win for Derek Hinton and Rock City. British Brig second, Cirque third, Oranger Panzer fourth, and the Oil Magnate and Evident Pride was the last one to finish. So that's your week 11 in the book. Congratulations to Kevin Meenham for winning the Grand National. Just two more weeks to go, and I'll see you all next week.